Hi, I'm Zander. I'm Ross. And together, together we, we will be envying each other. What is this this year? Hi, I'm Ross. And I'm Xander, and together we will be interviewing each other for Hearts TV. No oh, paper, scissors, go. Okay. You're on, officer. Please be a small question. Who in the squad would you not like to be stranded on a desert island with? Hendo, Rim and Will. It's been brutal. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen somebody tweet my home one time saying if they were on a desert island with him and a tuna tuna. They'd eat him and talk to the tennis tuner. That's how I feel, the handle. Heart of the Midlothian FC. Alright, sorry, rank, rank take. Would you rather be 11 foot tall or 11 inches tall? So really, what would you rather be? Would you rather be Lewis Nielsen or Alan Forrest? <laughs> <laughs> 11 foot tall. You're close to anyway. You've got to be. A couple of feet and a half. Ah, no fun. Maybe my hands up on my toes. What's on embarrassing thing that's happened to you? What does that mean? That says what's on. That's a C to me. What are we going to do? Use our miles after. <laughs> what's your guilty pleasure? Munchies. Jellies. Jellies? Jelly. Haribo giant strobes. Oh, baby. Not a tantastic. Tantastic, sir. What was your favourite subject at school? I don't know what I could do. <laughs> PE. PE. That's everybody. 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 So my teachers are just nah. hates everybody, anger with them. But aye, home ec. Home but favourite B. We were goalies, but we off to this, right? You off to this, right? Was it? I have centre half. Goal scoring centre half. School school captain. Centre half, mate. Massive. He just he'd a rent and it came in the box. <laughs> Big Mac or quarter pounder. Big Mac. Yeah, so it'd be quarter pounder. Probably up there with fillet of fish into that fillet of fish or whatever it's called. Aye. How that's still on the menu is a disgrace. It's not good enough. But that's for another, that's for another time, Ross. What is your favourite place to go on holiday? Oh. <laughs> Spain, I've got Spain. Anywhere in Spain, you know. But my favourite holiday I've been on is probably Paris, I think. Paris? Very messy. Nice. Got engaged. Engaged, I've got to say engaged. Yeah. Don't have any points for me for one's in it. Nice. Who's going to win the World Cup? I said at the start, Argentina. Um, then you've got to be rooting for the Aussies, haven't you? Be, right. So. So that might need to change now. Whoever wins the Argentina Australia game goes on to win it. There you go. Oh, there's a big shout for you. There's a big shout for you. What's your go to karaoke song? Well, it's not initiations, isn't it? Ah, it's initiations. Elton John, I'm still standing. Because you know what I like about it? Cause you can get the people in, so you go, I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you, need yeah. A, so you need a bit of fan interaction. That's what it's Remember that love when we had to do it? Always pre matches at Tony Macaroni. And the one at Olivia is huge, and I think it was like a night time game. It was my first game in the Betfred. <laughs> the place was packed, and I stood up on a chair and had to sing that. Waitresses, everybody stopped where they were, and watched Bast keeps everybody stopped. Did Turned. they all get involved? Did they? You clapped me at the end, it was not good. The best one I've seen, Rory Farland. <clears throat> Chinese in Perth. Obviously, it's been New Zealand, but like that, Saturday night, place is packed. Disappears behind the curtain. Oh no. It comes up. Hacker. Hacker? Live in the restaurant on a Saturday night, quarter to eight or salt and chili chips in the big man's gate. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, need to say it. Boy Humphreys. Oh Humphreys, by the way. I think we'll get a clip here and we'll, we'll, we'll link it. Aye. We'll link it to Links this. Links in the description. Aye. Do you do, do you comment, comment below. Aye. What we'll do is we'll put the wee, right there. the wee info up here and the link in the description. Subscribe, don't forget to hit that red button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> if you weren't a footballer, what would you be? Probably a joiner. A joiner? That was what I had, I had a few interviews for. A joiner, an apprenticeship. What holiday destination would you love to go to? Probably something like the Maldives or something like the Bahamas, something like that. You've been there, haven't you? Been Maldives. Maldives. Oh, is it? Maldives for honeymoon. Oh, awesome. magnificent. Nice. Very good. I thought I would have been bored. Two weeks. Yeah. yeah. Just nice, peaceful. Climate. Peaceful. Just watching sharks swimming by you for the whole of the day. That'd be great, right? No, that's something I love to do. That was the most tamest one I've done yet. Yeah. Didn't get any laughs at that. It was quite serious. Quite awkward, isn't it? Like, again. <laughs> <laughs> quite serious, that one. What app do you use the most on your phone? TikTok. <laughs>
it's a, especially when you're away, you're just sitting. Talk, aye, TikTok, you can just get lost in the wee profile. Good boy, Ollie, it's called mate. The Labrador Doug next class. He has built, he's a good boy. He does, he actually get a silly Doug every weekend, mate. He just goes and like, brings a wee biscuit to her. Aye. And he's got wee activity jar, they call it. He just dips his tongue in. Just <laughs> <laughs> goes Go to the park. Ah, he goes to the park. Goes and feeds the duck, mate. Just our life. Link in the description. <laughs> <laughs> if you could eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Yeah, I love food. Don't get a goalie shit. Aye. <laughs> Padding into for diving. We need it. But I'd probably say sushi. I love sushi. Sushi. Aye, really good sushi, pals. That would if you were on death row. Death row. Aye. Death row sushi. Cool sushi. Aye. Sushi place in East Coast Bay near us there. And it's got this like kind of spicy meal. They put it on a couple of the different rolls. Nice. Would you rather see 10 minutes into the future or 150 years into the future? In 10 minutes time, I don't think they'll have read it in this. So I <laughs> might need to go 150 and then just go yeah. back to on this day. Let's see what that time hop half thing you get. Yeah. Go back to on this day 150 years ago and just see what the final edit of this video was. Because we've gave them a right challenge. I've given them a right challenge. What's your favourite movie? The Bucket List, you seen it? Jack Nicholas and Morgan Freeman. Movie for him. A great one. What do you want for that or Walk the Line, Johnny Cash? What's your biggest pet peeve? I don't know why, but I get really annoyed when you're on the motorway or something and you flash somebody like them in, they don't thank me. <laughs> that really like that you, you look at the lights for the flash, you look at the horn in the back window, and when none of that happens, you just want to run that's back my somebody. biggest peeve, that, like, I actually hate it, like proper road rage. What are you looking for as a wee bit? Right, it doesn't take you much think to you? just put your hazards on. No, or just even that. Because you've done that to put your indicator on, so when you're flicking that back off, just hit the hazard. Right. Or just the art the indicator. Just say cheers. What music artist do you listen to most? That's a good question because you should just have got your Spotify thing for me. I did, but everybody knows what it is and I get slaughtered for it at the time. Michael Bibble. Seen him three times now, got to see him in April again at the Hydro. Love it, man. I mean, I think he'll probably just be. He'll be due out the fridge, won't he, soon? Defrosting for Christmas. That's the time of year, isn't it? <laughs> First of December, <laughs> boom, he's here. I have not full, just bring him boo-boo out the fridge. Come time, for, time for you to sing, son. <laughs> <laughs> Describe the person sitting next to you in three words. <laughs> <laughs> three words. A top man. That's two. A top man. <laughs> <laughs> But seriously, is it, any, is it any shock to you that I've opened that upside down? <laughs> What's the last photo you took on your phone? <laughs> <laughs> well, I also got a back tattoo finished, so got the message take, so I really can't see it. <laughs> so I had to get the message take a photo for me so I could see it. I'll get us one in the right there, right? Nice. <clears throat> what is your earliest football memory? Uh, like playing wise, I'd probably think of that time. I think I was about eight or nine when we went to a wee tournament in Glasgow. There was a strike at the time. Top goal scorer for those boys club, by the way. I'll have you know. Um, maybe you get the wee green cars that you ran a match game. So the goal never turned up, so I went in goals. For the tournament, we won the tournament, and I think I walked away about six games. And then get scouted, so. Yeah, first time being a goal, Aberdeen. I'm trying Aberdeen, I think. What, no my earliest memory? Uh, the wee tournaments that you're talking about. So you used to get the wee like, tuck shops at them. Mm -hmm. I remember eating a chomp against the goalpost mate during the game. In the opposition score. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the day when it was only like, 5p or something for one. It's about 65p for a chomp then it's three quarters of the size. Pleasure, Pleasure my friend. Pleasure sir. Pleasure. Don't forget to hit that red button. <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs>